Hawthorne apartment manager, Irina Kalishnikov, claims that the defendant, Miguel Flores, uses charcoal grill despite apartment rules, and that Flores has a party several times a week. Kalishnikov is seeking a cease and desist order. Let's see what the judge makes of this smoky situation. I'll rise to the Honorable Judge Tony Cook. This is the plaintiff. I've read your case. Uh, Miss, uh, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, Irina Kamishnikov. Kamishnikov? Yes. That is a fine, what, no, what nationality is that, Miss? A Russian. Oh, a Russian, I yeah. see. Well, so you, you, you make good Russian food. <laughs> you do, huh? A pierogi, you know pierogi? It's okay. Gwumki, is that right? Is I, am I pronouncing it right? Jamie, yeah, that's right, Russian, okay. Okay, well, let's, let's hear your story. Uh, my story was... Uh, speak up, I can hardly hear you. Uh, my story was, I want to uh, first... Miss, you're going to have to speak up. I'm a little hard of hearing. Okay. Be loud, thank you. Yeah. Uh, first, I want to uh, ask uh, Miguel, he didn't pay rent for us. It's go months to months, he didn't pay on the time. Uh, we not charge for him late charge, you know, like usually we charge $25 late charge. We not charge for him, you know, by this month, it's already, it's stories, and he didn't pay rent. And uh, he has a lot of party, a lot. And parties. Is that parties. Just party? He's partying. He's one of those guys. Yeah, he make a lot of noise, mm -hmm. and tenants call me about this one because sometimes it's party. And Other tenants called you? Uh, and I have uh, notice. So from other ones? Can yeah. I see it, please, bailiff? I have notice from tenants for right. his neighbors. Mm -hmm. We will look at it. We will look at it. Okay. Well, whose neighbor is this? Uh, it's two young girls. Two young girls. Yeah, How young are they? It's like 25 years old. Are they attractive? <laughs> no, but are they attractive? You know, and... Are they attractive young girls? No. No, oh, they're not. They're dogs. Okay, here, take this back. We put a file on it. Go on. So keep going. And, uh, and you what know, else? And you know, he make he make a lot of he, he make makes a lot of noise. noise I heard this something he, about charcoal. What's that? And he make barbecue outside. He makes a barbecue yeah. outside. Well, would, would, okay, he makes a barbecue outside. And what does he do? And he not cleaning after him. And he make. He doesn't the, clean up after himself. You, you know, usually he make big, big mess after you you make barbecue. Why is he making those barbecues? American hot dogs, right? Not the, uh, not the uh, the Russian uh, pierogi. <laughs> not the Russian pierogi. You know, and uh, you know what? I think you know what, Miss. I gotta tell you something. I've been doing this a long time. A long time. I'm sure you've been cooking your pierogi a long time. How many years have you been in the country here? Six years. Six years. From where? Russia? Mother Russia, right? Is right. That, am I correct? Right. So, you know, I've I got to tell you something. You're a very nice woman. And I'm going to let you talk, but you know what? I don't think you even have to talk much in this situation. Because you know why? This is clear cut. Russia has fallen. How do you feel about that? Not if too you, good, right? If, so you may be back in Russia. You know, we will. Wait a second. Do you see? When I ask a question, then you answer. That's how it works in American justice. I don't know what they have in Russia or what they had, but it's over. And you're not in Russia anymore. I'm not Russian hey, anymore. Did I say one more time, lady, I'm telling you, I see what you're doing. You're not Russian anymore. You have American citizenship? Yes. You do? Did you apply or do you have it? I have, I have right now, American citizen. You have it with yes. you. You have a card. Yes. You are American citizen. Well, thank you very much, and that's very good. Well, I've got to tell you this. You could sit there and you could learn the Star Spangled Banner. But what you got to do, you know where America is? America is in here, in the heart. See, in Russia, and I'm, I'm sure you're a very nice lady. I'm sure she's trying to do her job as a landlady, keep everybody happy. That's not easy. It's a lot of work. God darn it, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But she's got to sit there and understand one thing. You are not in, in Russia, I'm sure lights are out at 8 p.m. All he's trying to do is have a party. Is that so damn illegal? No, it's not the legal. Now you, you are a killjoy. And you know what? They, they, many people will think that this red threat is over. It's not. It's people like you. And I want your green card number before you leave. 
because this is the grassroots how it starts. It starts like that. Okay, and I see you're sitting there right now. Will you please state the Pledge of Allegiance? We got the flag here. Can I hear it? I didn't think so. I am ruling in favor of the defendant. The court is going to issue $500 that should be used for your next party. Then I hope I'm invited too. And I hope you're there. And maybe on that grill of life, we have the American hot dog and we have the, the Russian sausage. Bless you both. All rise. <clears throat> court is adjourned. Tony has ruled in favor of the defendant. Plus a $500 bonus. Let's speak to the litigants. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Uh, do you think the judge was fair on his ruling? Uh, I think so. He's not right. Okay. Good yeah. luck. Thank you. Good luck to Thank you. Thank you. Sir, is it true that you don't clean up after yourself after queuing? I do clean. Sir, is it true that you don't clean up after barbecuing? I do clean sometimes, and um, yeah, we have parties all the time, like mm -hmm. every, I mean, three times a week and all that. And we make noise sometimes, I understand that. Right. Well, congratulations on your $500 bonus. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes our case.